Big Daddy here with the next video in the series of customizing KDE Plasma 5. So today we're going to talk about window management. So if you go into system settings and you go in here, there are 1,400,300,568 settings. I may be off by one or two but that's a roundabout figure. So there are tons of settings, but today we're going to concentrate on window management. And I probably won't get to all of the settings in here because there are so many. All kidding aside, there are so many. So we're going to focus on a couple and hence the focus. <laughs> uh, focus is the first tab. So a window becomes active when you click into it. So that's basically what happens. So you open a second window and if you see here, I'm here, I have to click on it to make it focus. So this can be changed in increments um, and you can click the focus on the mouse precedence and it just keeps going up. It follows the mouse focus. We're going to move it all the way up to hover. So if you hit apply on that, if I hover over this, you'll see that it is, I am able to type in this window. So it did bring it into focus and it'll bring this window back in focus, but it won't actually raise the window, but this little box down here will do that. So if you raise on the hover, the default, I, th I think I was messing around with the settings. The default is 750. So, but I think that if you're going to use this, it would probably be best if it was lower. So that actually, you don't have to click on the window. It brings it into focus on whatever you're looking for. Now, me personally, I don't use this because I don't know, just too many times in the past I've been working on something or doing something and I move the mouse somewhere where it's not supposed to be and I, the window loses focus and it brings it back. So it just, it actually to me ends up being it's a great in theory practice it just doesn't work out for me in real life so that's there if you want it the title bar actions you can change the double click to maximize and I have actually changed the wheel event to maximize and restore as well so that when I hover it I can double click this and maximize it or I can roll the wheel and maximize it and the reason I leave these on this is because when we get to the theming I do actually change these and remove the maximize button altogether because I don't use it I use this so there are multiple options in here for the title bar in the frame of how to lower and raise it and activate it um, but I'm just going to show you the ones that I actually change okay so Window activation or window actions, I'm sorry. I don't change much in here. I just leave it the way it is, but they're there if you need it. Moving, I don't change much in there either. Okay. But like I said, there's tons and tons of settings in here. Okay. So one of the things that I have to change or I always change is the placement of the windows. I don't care for the smart placement where it just pops windows in any general area that's not filled. So what I usually end up going with is a centered display so that when I actually do open up a window, it's right in the center of my view. That's where I want it because that's where I'm looking for it. Mo I mean, uh, I won't say most, but for me personally, if I click a window, I'm not looking for, I don't want to guess where it's going to end up. I want to know it's right in the center. So that's definitely one premium setting that I change. Okay, so the task switcher settings, you can do, uh, I think it, the default is breeze. So when you hit alt tab, you get this little sidebar thingy and you can switch through to whatever window but I prefer the cover switch because it's I don't know it's kind of what I'm used to so 
that's what I prefer. And you can change the for the shortcuts to it. Um, and you can also do an alternative where you can say leave this on breeze and create another a different shortcut and use that as well. So in Kwin uh, scripts, they already have the window decorations forced onto the GTK windows, which is good. Um, and there's a few other ones that you might use. These are not ones that I would use. Uh, but as always with KDE, you can always get more. So uh, you can, I to be honest with you, I haven't tried many of these. So I can't vouch for if they work or how well they work or anything like that. This is not my cup of tea here. Uh, as far as window rules, we get in now. We get into the window roll settings. Now this goes really, really deep, deep, deep. <laughs> but it makes KDE so customizable. So, for example, here now we're just going to set this to the side. Well, maybe we'll minimize that. All right. So, so it depends. Uh, dolphin may come like this, or it may open up in a different window but I want it to open up in a certain spot all the time at a certain size but and you can do that so obviously it's gonna be centered in the screen but I want it to open to a certain size and not the default size either so I'm gonna make it the size that I want to keep it so it depends on what you want it to look like when you open up so, all right, just for the video sakes, we're going to leave it there. Okay, so we changed it, and that's what we want. That's the size of the window, and that's what we want. So if you right-click, or, well, actually, if you click over here and go to More Options, or if you hit Alt F3, or if you right-click on the title bar anywhere, which is also why I removed this, because you can just right-click on the title bar and get to the same menu. You got this, all these uh, options here, okay? But the ones we're looking at are special window settings and special application settings. So special window settings are going to be just for the window that you're in. So Dolphin has this window, but then it, then it also has, like, say, if you do... Um, the about it's got this window so this is a dialogue window and this is the main window so the window settings will only affect the window that's open this one will affect the whole application where it'll affect every window including dialog boxes so we don't want to do the application settings and change how big something is for the whole application because then we'll be changing the the dialog boxes like the about boxes to be the same size as the dolphin window and we don't want that all we're looking for is to change the main window to what we want now you're always going to get this you know be really careful and all that good stuff um, message before you change anything so what we're looking for here is now tons and tons of options again but we're looking for position and size and by default nothing's checked because it has no settings as of right now and if you just hit ok nothing will happen because it it's left on do not affect okay but it has options here to apply initially remember force apply now or force temporarily now apply initially just means it's going to apply it just for the initial thing and then it won't remember it remember means it will remember the last setting that you used so if you change it and then you change it again later it's going to remember whatever last setting you used force is going to be all the time apply now is apply now and force temporarily is is almost like apply initially where it just forces it temporarily till you close it so we're going to go with force and force. And as you see, it picks up the exact spot. Kwin will pick up the exact spot that you have. So that's why you set the window where you want it before you come in here. So it picks up the actual spot. All right. So there are many other options. You can keep it above certain or all applications. 
you can um, put it where it has no title bar, no title bar color. You can change the opacity to make it transparent. Um, there's so many things here, and, and I will get into the actual transparency of everything, but you can, if you want one program, say, say your web browser of choice, Firefox or Chrome or Chromium, and you want it to be maximized full screen when it opens all the time, but not everything else, you can do that here. Um, you can have it initial placement. You can do minimum size. There's just, oh my gosh, it would be too long of a video if we went through it all. So we're going to hit OK. And then when we, sometimes KWIN doesn't always like the settings you make, just so you know. Okay, so when we open up Dolphin now, it's going to open up in the center and it opens exactly how large and what we want. Um, so that's how to use the... Now, when you come back in here, if you refresh this, and I don't think... Um, you got to probably go in and back in. And you'll see now your window settings for Dolphin show up. So you can export these so that you can re-import them for an install. Um, now, if you leave your home folder alone and install the KDE on a different partition, then you can reinstall the system and your home folder will keep the settings. But if you don't do that, you can always export these settings and re-import them when you reinstall everything. You can also set them from here for a specific application or all applications. So then say you wanted to have transparency on certain items uh, you could do new and you don't really want all of these checked because sometimes it doesn't like all of them checked <laughs> I'm just gonna say so we're just gonna do the the main windows that you're gonna see for um, transparency effect so you would do that you would click normal and dialog window and you would go back over here to appearance and fixes and you can do active opacity and inactive opacity and you're gonna do force because you want to do it all the time and you're gonna do this to I don't know active whatever you're looking for I think I think I'm gonna go like 90 on that and then the inactive opacity you can go to like 50 so you hit OK and you hit apply so now if you have an inactive window that will may remain transparent and I don't think I like that 90 there I think I want it full so and I should have named that huh so let's name that transparency And I think we'll go with, well, let's see what 90, like, 98 looks like. And we'll hit apply. See, that's still, to me, too much transparency for the active window. So I guess transparency isn't probably a good thing for the active window. So we'll go with 100% on that. and we'll hit apply so there's no transparency and I'm thinking we should go higher on the transparency on that too because I don't want it to be that bad so let's do like 85 how's that we'll try that okay yeah that works so there's a little transparency going on but not much and I think I got a close key out there. K, K right to out to C. See, that seems to be holding the transparency settings, even though it's an active window. So, I don't know. Maybe? Yeah, so you can still see through it, and it's an active window. So, that is how you would get transparency. But I don't want transparency, so I'm not going to... Uh, it's not for me so that's there if you want it I think there's another way to get to transparency and I'm not sure it's 
um, desktop behavior, I think, and desktop effects. Somewhere in here, there's, oh my gosh, there's too many settings. It's KDE. Ooh, there's not. Look at that. Blurs the background behind semi-transparent windows. Background contrast. Okay, so the, let's see if they have a transparency. Let's go look and see. Maybe it doesn't, it's not no longer in there. Because I watched a video from Michael Tunnell, and he's pretty good. He's got uh, he's got KDE down pretty good, um, and he was able to use it. So I don't know if what he was using, what version he was using, but he um, he definitely had the transparency effect. So I guess you're gonna have to do it the way we first did it. Um, but so there you go. That's what I use for, and that's been driving me nuts ever since I started this whole process of making videos on customizing KDE. I'm trying to leave everything default until I change, until I make the video on it to change it, and it's just been driving me nuts that everything is placed all around here and everything. <laughs> so, whew, glad that's out of the way. Um, all right, uh, that'll be it for Windows management. Um, I'm not sure where we're going to go next, but stay tuned for the next video in customizing KDE Plasma 5. And until then, Big Daddy out.